In my travels, people often challenge me about the social justice stances of the church, saying faith and politics shouldn't mix, that the church should stick to teaching the Bible. Ironically, though, it's precisely because of the Bible that we speak out wherever and whenever we see injustice in the world. In so doing, we are following the lead and example of Jesus. Whenever I hear people say to me, uh, faith and politics don't mix, what I realize is that they say it when my politics don't mix with their politics and then faith becomes an issue. I believe faith is really what directs our life totally into action. And my understanding of politics in its positive sense, in its true meaning, is really the building of cities, the building of communities. And so faith should be guiding us towards molding those leaders who will be implementing the rightful laws that will direct the people. As people of faith, we have to be aware that there's a difference between being involved in politics and becoming partisan. And as moderator, one of the things I found out is, is that we're well represented across the political spectrum within the United Church of Canada. That said, it seems impossible to me to read Christian scripture and, uh, and not see it as political. Uh, Jesus was crucified not because he suffered little children to come on to him, not because he uh, healed people. He was crucified because he proclaimed a political kingdom different than the one in which he lived. And in this season uh, where we've just passed Easter, I'm thinking about the story of Jesus coming into Jerusalem from the east of the city. And uh, we shout Hosanna and he's riding the donkey and that kind of thing. And we have to remember that what he was doing was an act of uh, civil disobedience. It was an act of street theater uh, that was challenging another entry into the city at that time, the entry of the representatives of Caesar, who was known as the Son of God. The donkey, I guess, is important in the political thing too, because I think he, we enter with a sense of humility. It was a sign of coming in peace and nonviolence. And so, Whenever I think about our activity as a church or as an individual, where as a person of faith I enter into politics, I, I desire to do it in a way that is nonviolent, which is peaceful, but which is grounded in justice. Mm -hmm.